everybody. My name is Raymond Novera. I'm with the anti resilience Coalition, and I'm I'm actually one of the first individuals to make it out the SYTF program. Barry J. Juvenile Hall should not be housing for rehabilitation and housing for SYTF secure youth track facility. The compound lacks programming and in the individual space since it's technically a unit for 15 youth. And there's no toilets in the rooms. So every night we have to bang, we have to bang on the doors for the staff to hear us, just to just to get let out to use the to use the bathroom. Hi, my name is Chris Waddell. Uh, I'm a member of Anti Recidivism Coalition. I'm here to speak on why I believe that Camp Kilpatrick should be the place housing juveniles over a place called the compound. I started getting incarcerated at the age of nine years old. It was a continual cycle for me. I'm recently released released after spending almost 20 years of my life incarcerated and having the opportunity to look back, I realized that a lot of those issues came from juvenile detention from the times when nobody was paying attention to what I was facing or what I was going through as a child and were just continuing to push me through a system. So the reason why I'm advocating for this is I genuinely believe kids need an opportunity to grow and to change. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. I'm minor. I'm with AJN. Uh... And and Leo Coalition, I just want to say that, you know, Kilpatrick is the way to go. You know, I personally, I came from Kilpatrick, you know, and that was the only camp that allowed people to come and, and talk to us and, and mentor us, you know. I hear that there's only six youth that are being moved, you know. Like, we've been talking about moving these kids, like, for damn near, if not months, like a year now, you know, and just having six youth move, it, it shocks me, you know, like that we should be able to move more than six youth, you know, like Kilpatrick, um, you know, holds more than six youth. There's Jay, yeah, it's, it's, it's done, you know, it's, it's, come on, it's, you're locking them, you're pretty much getting them ready for them to go to prison, you know, instead of get, um, helping them getting ready for like, in, like a, a successful life. And, and I feel like Kilpatrick, has not just the environment for it, but the res you know, like all the resources that we need. With the Youth Justice Coalition and the Los Angeles Youth Uprising Coalition. Um, also want to echo everything that's been said by the young people, right? And then we think about Kilpatrick um, and having young people moved there. Why aren't they being moved as quickly as they were moved when Central Juvenile Hall was found unsuitable? Hello, my name is Ezekiel Nishiyama. I'm with the Anti-Recidivism Coalition. Um, I want to echo everybody else's comments and put a big emphasis on Kilpatrick having the right structure and the right programs in place for, for these young people being moved there. What difference does it make if Kilpatrick isn't ready, having the right programs and structure being moved from Barry J if Kilpatrick isn't ready for these youth? I also want to bring it back to when I was a young person in 2016 facing a life sentence inside of the system. The things that helped me a lot as a young person being inside, even in the darkest place, being inside of Barry J were credible messengers. Want to put a big emphasis on programming and structures and credible messengers inside of the system. Thank you. Our SYTF youth need a space for vocational training, rehabilitative programming, and so much more. Probation needs CBOs as much as CBOs need probation. We need to unify if we really want to heal our communities. CBK will not house all the SYTF and DJJ youth. Los Padrinos will be a much more suitable space. Thank you.